that. You know, it was interesting because one of the questions that we got was, when did you discover these truths as as fundamental? So mm, I will mm. I will lob it over to you to say that third fact that you provided. If you want mm -hmm. to talk about it, um, very simply, and, I'm not afraid to talk about what he's teasing. What he's dancing around is that I have uh, I have bladder cancer. It's a good cancer to get. I say that because my particular form of cancer is a cancer that's very treatable. Most people die with it as opposed to from it. And so I'm not afraid to talk about it because when it happened a couple of years ago and I'm still in treatment, every 90 days I go and find out if it comes back or not, it's a, it's a delightful blessing to remind us of what we already are supposed to know, our mortality, it's supposed to be on our left shoulder at all times. But, but having cancer just reminds me, just like the book, hey dude, life is short, tick tock, make use of it. That's the good part of having cancer. It really, really, really is, at least my particular kind of cancer. And in terms of when I discovered this, honestly, I have been a seeker since I was uh, 16, 16 years old, 18. I lived in an ashram in, in India for a while, and I wanted to understand the nature of God and the universe. And, and so I want to know the truth. And so empirically, the sages have written for thousands of years that we should practice virtuous behaviors. That is not new information, okay? All the ancient paths, all of them articulate do good in some form or fashion, okay? And so, okay, I got that covered. So is there some more empirical reality to this? Oh yeah, there's all kinds of empirical truth around uh, the practice of these virtuous behaviors, these virtues like gratitude, compassion, forgiveness, kindness, authenticity, vulnerability. Brene Brown speaks about it beautifully. They're fabulous. They're not just good feeling things. They infuse your world with goodness and health and well-being and others as well. Holy shit, let's do more of that. And so how I discovered, I mean, I've been a seeker of this, but once um, the positive psychology is the study of positive deviance that is people who seem to be incredibly happy and fulfilled and successful and joyful in spite of all their life circumstances what's up with them so that's the study of these people well i've been doing this for years oh <laughs> there's there's science behind this oh yeah so lean into it more so that i mean i've been studying it and practicing it and trying to live it for my whole life as do all good people who are trying to become better people. Um, I just know that the simpler it can be, the better, period, full stop. And I can talk and talk and talk and talk. But at the end of the day, are you kind to your brother and your sister? Period. Did, were you sweet in that moment? Can you, can you take this present moment and take a deep breath and go, oh my God, is my cup runneth over or what? So. I mean, that's all intellectual, but I know that it's true and it's not intellectual, you know. Well, is love really real? <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know. So I, I've been practicing this for a long time, but it is not my stuff. I'm just trying to distill it to make it easier for people to, to answer the question, yeah, but what about when you got a, a yeah, but what about the answer is always the same. You know, be kind. <laughs> to yourself or to the person you're in front of well how do you hold people accountable when you're being a positive leader with effort with deliberate intent and practice yeah you can be kind i mean you're a parent joseph you know this is a, a dear friend of mine carl shared with me that good parenting good leadership is equal parts loving and demanding okay i love you sweetie now go to bed both parents you know as a parent you gotta you know i love you and you gotta feel how much i love you and I got to set boundaries and limits and tell you when you're messing up and tell you that you can be better, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, One of my sons just texted me and said, Where, where's the show? I'm sorry. I know you're on, but, <laughs> you know, I love that, that even one of my kids is going to watch this and maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh -huh.